helping you plan your day. WOWT6 is the weather authority. Hey everyone, I'm meteorologist Brad Sugden. A real soggy start to the day today, but temperature is a little bit on the mild side. Many of us in the 70s. That's where we'll stay for really pretty much the whole day. We'll keep the rain showers for a little while longer. Look how this develops. We do have a front that's passing on through that starts to fire up mainly east of the metro. Notice by two o'clock there it is stretching from uh, the northeast down to the southwest. Some of these storms east of the metro do have the possibility to be on the severe sides. We'll keep an eye on that. Notice how it really starts to develop by the time we get toward four o'clock. Even more so by the time we get towards six o'clock, it really starts firing up. But hey, it's good. It's moving down to the southeast away from our area. And really what we're left with just a few residual showers, maybe a thunderstorm. That's really about it, though. And we're just really going to hold on to mostly cloudy skies for the rest of the night. After that, temperature is going to stay a little bit mild, but actually cool off compared to what we saw at least last night. We'll dip down into the upper 50s overnight tonight and then Friday for the kickoff of the College World Series. Not looking half bad at all. So 80 degrees today again, showers and storms mainly down to the southeast from here on out. 76 degrees on Friday. We'll have a few clouds out and about, but hey, that's not bad if you're uh, heading out and about. At least you won't get too sunburnt. 75 degrees on Saturday. That looks like a pretty wet day if you're headed out to the first few games of the College World Series. Bring the poncho, bring the umbrella. You're probably going to need it after that. Really just pop up showers and storms. Not a big washout by any means. Temperatures will be warm and mild.